How you doing, everybody? Welcome to the world's messiest March, mid-March day. And as you can see here, if I put it into view, oh no! My hammer broke. It's just a little finishing hammer, but I like it. It's got a fairly small head, kind of narrows. And um, so I'm going to be replacing it with a bigger handle and a longer handle. You can see the old handle length there. A good three and a half, four inches longer and about twice as wide. And it's got this grip came off of a, a rake the handle that broke in the middle. And yeah, I keep stuff like that for times like this. So what I did was I took the piece that came out of the head of the hammer, held them together, traced, traced that on this side, and I'm using the angle grinder to cut it out. And once I get that cut down to the right, get that cut down to the lines that I marked, then I'll do the same thing again with this, but I will do the profile side and cut that out. And I'm leaving a little bit of material because I'd like, you know, it needs to be nice and tight in here. Um, I do have the wedge from the old handle. I'll be using that. But you want a nice tight fit in there. So I've got both sides cut down. They're not smooth or anything, not yet. Here's the profile. I'm gonna center it here, trace it by hand, but sand it down. Here I've got it clamped down. Just a Harbor Freight clamp, some angle iron that I welded together. Clamping it down, holding it tight. At this point, I know I'm not there yet, but go ahead and start checking. Uh, the lighting out here is terrible today. Or I suck as a cameraman, one or the other. Maybe a little both, huh? So yeah, I don't know if you can if I can get this to show here. I've still got I'm gonna do it this way I did see that showing up so it's about how much I've got you know plus the thickness of the hammer here so I still got a little bit of ways to go I'm using my angle grinder you might want to do it by hand with a coping saw something like that you can, I don't know if you can see this resin building up here this is an old blade uh, grinding disc and uh, that stuff builds up, and I just take the wire brush on the cordless and take it off and then go again. Taking it out of the clamp to do a visual inspection, try and line it up with the head. I'm very, very close. Um, as you can see, I'm not perfect in my, the symmetry here. Um, so I'm going to fix that. You can really see it from there. And also, here, you can see I've got a little more material taken off on one side than I do the other. The right side's got a little more taken off. So the little bit I need to take off will be from this side. Right there, and uh, I know it's a lot longer than, oh, it's longer than the hammerhead. And that's fine, that's what you want. You want to be able to cut that top off flush and uh, be able to angle these. So I'm going to grind this down so it's a smoother transition and stronger.
do this before you come flush with this to make it a little easier uh, to place the tools here to change the angles and make sure you're straight and square. I'm going to leave the wood just a little below and I'm going to put in my metal wedge there, lock it into place. Thank you. 